Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Chris Martinez from Dynamic Duo Training and today I'm going to be talking about macronutrients that you need in your diet and the foods that we recommend that you buy at the grocery store and that you should have in your kitchen. Uh, again, just to reiterate everything, talk about the three macronutrients is uh, protein, protein, carbohydrates, and fats. And two, of those, two out of the three of those are essential and we definitely need the protein, we definitely need the fats. The carbohydrates can come in and out whenever, uh, just depending on what you want to do on your goals and your diet. Um, so to start off with, I'm going to show you all the protein sources that we recommend that you have inside your kitchen or your diet. So again, these are all complete whole protein sources. <clears throat> Starters, we have some shrimp right here, very lean source of protein. You have your eggs right here, another great source of protein. You can even add the yolks for a saturated fat too. I definitely recommend adding some yolks into that. Then you have your tuna right here. Another great lean uh, protein source. And then we have tilapia right here, which is another green or another uh, great protein source that you have right there. And then we have just boneless, skinless chicken breast right there that you can pretty much do whatever you want with. And it's another great protein source. And then uh, some cottage cheese. I don't know if for a lot of you guys, if you like cottage cheese or not, but this is another um, great protein source. Um, you can mix it with walnuts, almonds, uh, peanut butter, pretty much anything you want, even some sliced fruit in there. It's another great protein source. And then uh, for those of you that just can't meet some of your protein sources, because I know it's hard to eat a lot of protein, um, you can definitely just buy a bag of protein and meet your protein uh, requirements that way. So uh, moving on to carbohydrates. <laughs> uh, again, so we recommend that you have um, complex carbohydrates because they're slow digesting and they're going to give you more fuel for the day and your workouts. Um, so some complex carbohydrates that we recommend are just potatoes right here, um, yams, sweet potatoes, uh, brown rice cakes that you can even take on the go that's really easy. You can even spread some um, all natural peanut butter on these. Really good snack. Um, some black beans and it doesn't necessarily have to be black beans. It can be other types of whole beans. Um, 100% whole wheat bread. <clears throat> This is like another alternative, like we highly recommend getting Ezekiel bread just because it's high in fiber and um, it's got like really good vitamins and minerals in there and protein. But you can get this at Trader Joe's and it's pretty much got all the same nutritional facts in it. So look for this kind of Trader Joe's if you shop there. Um, brown rice right here. There's different types of brown rice, uh, basmati, um, jasmine rice, it's all pretty much the same thing. As long as you get yourself a brown rice, it's a good complex carb. Um, whole wheat pasta right here, very good complex carb source. And then uh, for those of you that like to eat cereal, I highly recommend Ezekiel cereal right here. Again, high in fiber, has a lot of protein in it, very good complex carbs right here, and it's quick. So in the morning, if you're on the go. And then oatmeal right here, this is the McCann's, it's like a thinner type of oatmeal, but again, um, you don't have to necessarily get this type. There's just lots of other oatmeals out there that you can get as long as it's oatmeal. Um, it's another great carb source. And then you definitely got to have uh, your vegetables too. Green beans and broccoli. You need those for the fiber. <clears throat> and then again, just um, just to point out too, like why we recommend complex carbohydrates. Like I, get, I said, it's just like it's a slow digesting carbohydrate. And it's going to uh, give you more fuel for the day and your workouts. And also, it's just um, they're all high in fiber. And we're really big on fiber because it has a thermogenic effect, which means um, you can lose weight if you have a high fiber in your diet. So that's why we definitely recommend complex carbs. Also, um, in moderation, we recommend um, fruits. But right here, we just got bananas, apples. Um, obviously, there's blueberries. Um, there's just a whole like assortment of fruits out there. So just make sure not to like have all your carb sources as fruit. Make sure you definitely have complex carbs and maybe just like one or two, um, you know, fruits in there or something like that to throw it in. Um, so moving on to the fats right here. These are some good fat sources that you want. Um, basically there's uh, two fat sources that we definitely recommend and that's um, monounsaturated fats, which is nuts, olive oils, avocados, peanut butters, and then there's uh, polyunsaturated fats, which is flaxseed oil, fish oil caps like you see, and um, oils that you get from like fish, like tuna, um, salmon, 
and other fishes out there, but highly recommend almonds right here. Walnuts, very easy to mix with uh, different types of foods. And then all natural peanut butter right here. Um, don't buy like the, the typical like cheap peanut butter, that you, peanut butter that you see because it's got the hydrogenated oils in there and that's not what you want. It's bad for you. So make sure it's all natural or it has no hydrogenated oils in the ingredients, okay? Also olive oil, if you like to cook with those type of oils, um, there's coconut oil, uh, flaxseed oil, um, just all different types of oils that are good for you. And then also, um, if you're not big on eating too, you can always get your omega-3s right here with fish oil caps. Uh, I highly recommend having like at least one gram uh, per serving when you get the omega-3s. <clears throat> and kind of like a rule of thumb that we use too is um, like with our diet, what we like to do is we like getting 30% uh, of fats from our diet. So 10% will come from polyunsaturated, another 10% will come from monounsaturated, and then the other 10% will come from saturated fats. And from saturated fats, you get um, animal meats like egg yolks, um, lean ground beef, um, chicken thighs. So pretty much everything is from animal sources. So if you're vegetarian, it's not going to really work out too good. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much like definitely what we recommend. You should have in your kitchen and if you go to the groceries uh, make sure to write these down uh, so you got your proteins complex carbs slow digesting carbs a little bit of fast acting carbs with fruits and your monounsaturated polyunsaturated essential fats that you need um, i hope this video helped out for you guys visit us at www.dynamicduotraining.com twitter facebook thanks a lot <coughs>